Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today's video is highly requested for the hairstyle challenge that we we're doing all year long which is work or professional hairstyles and I think the reason why I've taken so long to even make this video is because like what does that really mean though like I think all hair type styles are work appropriate like right now my hair down this is work appropriate and I wish somebody would tell me that is not even if it was bigger, with more volume, it's still appropriate because this is how my hair grew out of my head. And if Becky can wear her hair down with the way her hair grew out of her head, it's obviously allowed. Am I right? But I mean, if you want like maybe some styles just to switch it up so you don't look the same every day, maybe you need to have your hair out of your face depending on your profession, sure. We can try some basic styles that will not distract your insecure co-workers. That's fine, we can do that. So I'm just gonna wing it today. I don't know how many I'm gonna create, but let's just get going. So starting off on already like styled hair, I already have product in my hair. I'm gonna keep out a couple little curly do's because it already just like, it just adds things to it. When you have a blazer on, everything you do looks professional, am I right? So let's just like, do a little half up, half down situation. Nothing too crazy, no serious parts, like so. And we're not even gonna slick it, we're gonna keep it kind of like loosey goosey. Now you could use a scrunchie at this point, or you can grab like a pretty little clip. This little moon clip is from CVS, from GSQ by Glam Squad. And there you go, hairstyle number one. Just kept out a couple curls, clipped it, Super easy, I'm running late to work and I have two minutes. Now let's do something similar, keeping the little curly do's out, and we can just do a low ponytail. Should we start slicking things? Do you guys need to see it slick? Let's add a little bit. I'm gonna use my Eco Style Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil Gel. Once again, it's just still on my desk, so it's easiest to grab. But let's just slick down a little bit with some gel. This can be as slick or loose as you prefer. It's your hair, your rules. We're just gonna do a low ponytail. You can use a silk or satin scrunchie or you could use a regular ponytail, a regular scrunchie, doesn't really matter. Like so, low ponytail, two little curlies. Business profesh. Now let's say you want it up and out of your face. Let's go up. Now this is gonna be kind of like a messy-ish bun, but here's the trick to a bun. You actually wanna keep your curls in the front and then you pull them down. Ta-da, hair is up and away. I'm here to check you in for your three o'clock appointment. Easy, right? If you don't want any hair in your face, just put everything away. Up to you. And that's the beauty of curly hair. Like it could be as like, messy as you want it to be and it still looks like cute because your curls are always popping let's let's do another down look let's keep it all down except for the front so i'll do a little bit of parting let's take this piece right here this front part does not have to be perfect okay we got our two pieces and put the rest away And let's make a better middle part. There we go. Solid. Now I'm gonna get it wet. And I'm gonna slick it down. Oh, not you. You stay on your side. Like so. Now I'm gonna get more of my gel and slick it down. Ooh, this is nice and shiny. Go see my bangs coming in. Let's look it down. Put it behind the ear. Keep out baby hairs if you want. I don't know if baby hairs are work appropriate. I don't know, whatever you wanna do. And then you tie these two pieces in the back. Um, let's use like a little small rubber band. Then when we take the rest of our hair down, now you've kind of made like a headband out of your own hair. 
See, you now that would be cute, but it's like a little bow, but it's that, that's probably not work professional. That's probably just Friday night cute. But anyways, so now that adds like a little bit of texture to your hair being down. Since we've started, let's go for the super slick look using a middle part. I'm really just gonna wet the top of my head. That's where things are gonna be slick. Grabbing some more gel. Ooh, this gel does work very well for the shine. Anytime you're doing a slick style, you wanna get like a boar bristle brush that looks like this. Or this, I have different ones. That's gonna give you the slickest look versus like a normal detangling brush. And there's the look, just kidding. <laughs> All right, now let's slick this back. Oh, that's cute. I can tell I would never get professional. I think I need baby hairs. Is that not allowed? No, we kept this dry. It's not gonna be all flat. I think I'm gonna use a regular scrunchie for this one so it's nice and tight. And there you go, super sleek and super professional. And you can do different variations of this same look. So you could just do straight back or you could bring it all to the side. And wear it to the side. What else can we do? Um, let's try to bring the little curlies in the front back. Kind of got my little curlies back. <laughs> it's usually better if you don't do 50 hairstyles at one time. Let's re-wet this. And let's do a little, little twist. I've kind of done this in a recent video. Just kind of twisting my hair back like so. Then I'm grabbing this little clip, then securing that there, and then do the same thing to the other side. I got these gold clips by Jamie Lauren. I will link them in my description box. And then you can leave the rest of your hair down. And there you go, just a little bit of, little hint of pizzazz, nothing too crazy, nothing to distract your coworkers, just a little gold. Easy. Or you can take these pieces. Oh, my poor day one hair, it was so beautiful. <laughs> this is great to do when you're on like your end of the week hair. So you could just keep doing styles. Twisting it, pulling it back. Uh, I'm just gonna use this for now. And then taking this side, twisting it. If you can French braid, go for it. You overachiever, you. Maybe meet the two in the middle. And then you make like a little twisted crown. Maybe instead of this clip, If you don't want anything showing, you can just get a bobby pin and connect the two. This is another little accessory from CVS, uh, then the GSQ by Glam Squad collection. So you can just clip it like so, bobby pin, pretty pin, whatever floats your boat. And for my last trick, I'm just going to put it all up in a clip. This is my favorite clip from Pattern Beauty. A lot of my clips were from the 99 cent store. And then I realized that there is a difference from clips that are more than a dollar. <laughs> so I'm kind of twisting it, pulling it down, grabbing my clip and clipping it in place. So you can have it like this. I think I might like it better without the twist. I would probably just undo that so it's like more slick, but that gives you more of like a slick part up top if you don't want the messy bun look just on its own. But that way your hair is just up and away. So there are a couple of quick and easy, professional, work-appropriate hairstyles for you guys to try. Please tag me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee in your story so I can see which ones you rocked to work. Leave a comment, let me know which one is your favorite, and I'm gonna think of some more to give you guys some more options. 
If you enjoyed this video and want more work appropriate hairstyles, let me know what you guys want. Do you want more buns? Do you want more ponytails? Do you want more slick stuff? Do you want more wigs? Let me know in what direction you want me to go in for our next hairstyle challenge. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.